Alrighty guys, welcome back to another video and in this tutorial I'm going to start teaching you guys about something called intents. Now an intent is essentially how you can have one activity launch another activity. In other words, what I'm trying to say is it's how you can have your app switch screens. Because most of the apps you design, it's going to be more than one screen or more than one activity and the way you switch between them is called an intent. And there are different types of intents, but I'll cover everything in just a few tutorials. So for this application name, I'll name it like intent example. Why not do that? So intent example next. And I'm switching back to API 8. Make sure we have all the devices covered since this is actually um, one of the core things that, you know, you need every single phone to be compatible with it. And we'll just start with a blank activity. But of course, we're eventually going to be creating another one because, you know, that's the point of this tutorial to learn how to transition between the two. So click next. And I'm going to make one activity named apples. And I'm going to make another activity named bacon. And we're going to be switching between the two. So just, I kind of like naming that because A and B, I don't know, it's kind of easy. It's better than just naming something A. All right. So. I'm going to name the first one apples and finish this up. All right, very nice, very nice. All right, so the first thing I want to do is get rid of that text view and actually go ahead and select your relative layout and let's make sure that this screen looks a lot different than the bacon screen. So I will say that this is a green apple, so I'm going to change the background of my relative layout to 009900. Make sure you have that pound sign in front of it and hit enter. I actually like this color green. I use it on my website a lot. So we'll say that this is the green apple activity. And just so we are clear, drag a large text out front there and just set the text of this to apples and hit enter. Now, of course, we need something that the user can do to say okay whenever I do this I'm gonna to switch to another activity and for this we might as well just use a real quick button because it's the easiest thing to do let me just position this stuff a little bit prettier alright so this button we'll change the text of it to um, go to bacon alright and actually let me get rid of this extra crap so we have some more room all right, so now what I should probably do is change the IDs of this. All right, so the ID of this can just be like Apple's text. And the button will just give it an ID of Apple's button. So pretty simple. We made a real quick activity, just has some text saying what activity we're on. And eventually, whenever we click this, what's going to happen is the user is going to switch activities. However, for that to be possible, we actually need to hop over to our source code view. And instead of just going in our class and making a huge big listener, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add one more element to this, um, or one more attribute to this button element. So if I go to Android, on click then remember you can write something on here like on click and then you just make an on click method right here and you don't have to make a listener or anything like that so now we can just make this method eventually and easily listen for button clicks I don't know it's like the really lazy way but it works so this activity is looking good right now so let's go ahead and make that bacon activity and if you want you can fix your little string resource little warnings but I'm not really worried about it alright so now we need a bacon activity so in order to do that remember just go to your Java folder right here and in that main package where your apples Java file is just right click it and select new activity blank activity pretty much adding another activity to our project so I'm just gonna name this one bacon and make sure that you don't have the launcher activity selected because remember our apples one is the very first one that we want to appear this is just going to be an extra run so hit finish and let me organize everything alright 
So now we have the apples, Java, bacon, Java, apples activity already designed. Now let's go ahead and design the bacon activity. So delete that text view right there. And for the background of bacon, I happen to know that the color of bacon is 72231F. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the color of bacon. This is actually the first thing I learned about computers. Before I even learned to turn on my computer, I learned the hex color of bacon. So now you do too. All right, so let's drag just some text on the screen. And let's change this text to bacon. Just so we know what activity we're on in case, I don't know, maybe someone's colorblind or something. Now, just so I don't forget, I'm gonna change the ID to bacon text. And of course, what we can do is we can add a button as well. Plot that baby in the center and change the ID to bacon button. And our, let me change the text for that button too. Actually, I'll just leave it the same. Since I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to click this button and open up the bacon activity, and it's gonna be the same you can click this button and go back but once you guys know how to do one you know I'm not gonna reteach the same thing over and over again so alright now that we got that taken care of what we can do is just so you guys don't forget is let me go to my Apple design source code or the XML file and I'm just gonna add that on click to that bacon button too and that's just so if you guys ever wanna be able to click this and switch back you can alright so looking good we have two activities switch those both to design view make sure you have an ID Apple text and Apple button bacon text and bacon button and once you have your designs ready you're ready to start writing code